Yeah. Right, guys, welcome to a bit of a collaboration between Fishing Hunters Norton <laughs> and uh, Fishing Squad UK. Hi, guys. I've caught a few tonight. Yeah, we do, we're doing the intro as the end of the video. Unfortunately, we've uh, had a few beers since. Uh... Jay was like. Eh? I'm not here. Yeah, he's not here. Basically, <laughs> we're doing the intro after everything that's happened. So we'll see how I'm in something to eat after a long, hard day's fishing. Um, and. We've all caught tonight. We've all caught fish today. So. Oh, no, it's lock and smart. <laughs> Jay's had a few. Suburb. Jay's had a few mackerel out. Yep. I've had a Someone's few pollock out. My PBs. I've had You'll two, see that in the video. Two pound and a three pound. Yeah. Uh, is all Jay's also had a doggy out. Oh, Carl's had a few out as well. A few rats. A few, a few rats. Yeah. Basically. Watch this video. It's a bit of a obviously basically John's Jay's brother. You see John you see Jay, sorry, I'm fishing squad a lot all the time. This is his brother Jay. Uh, this is his brother John, sorry. Hey, yeah. Um let's intro. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, oh, <brother>. Um <laughs> this is intro. There's a bit of extra intro so. from Jay. Probably won't thank him for doing this, but he's basically say he's looking a bit worse from where now. It's oh, about, it's about I'm, 44 I'm hours. I've been up for about last 44 hours. Uh, watch him come down with me. Come down with me. Come, <laughs> come down, 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 come down, come down. Yeah. Basically, we wind her up about saying, oh, just get to wait, watch him come down with me. Oh, I, I do actually quite look like come down with me, to be fair. That's like, and we wind up about it all day. About that's it. like wow. suggestive, boy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we couldn't wear a song, but we, I couldn't wear a song at the moment. Rock, shall I? Come fly with me, come fly with me, fly away or something. Been come down, we come down. <laughs> basically, we're basically we're winding up about it. Yeah. <laughs> you tried to. Tried to. Yeah. So, um, I'll fix this is it. This is like the intro. I'm going to put this on. I don't know if you've got any intro to add with train station section. Out. Basically, we were going to fish last night. I'll add some of it. None of these two can cook. That's why they don't watch it. They don't stay up all night. Watching come down with me. That's for so right. 50 quid on a meal allowance. No, right. Yeah, so <laughs> enjoy the video. It'll probably, this, we'll probably put it on both our channels. So it's like, welcome to Fishing Squad Stroke. Fishing Hunters Not, not to Know. Fishing Hunters Not, not or, yeah. or welcome to Fishing Hunters Not and Stroke Fishing Squad. It's like a collaboration. So it is what it is. I'll put it all together. I'll get, send it to John. Uh, Good little map. He might edit some bits out. He might, whatever, add to it, whatever. It's fine. Um, Good little map. But yeah. Enjoy the video, guys. Johnny boy. Nice one. Yes. Yeah, boy. There, boy. Yeah. Subscribe. Yeah, boy. <laughs> He's here, look. Oh, yeah. We're dragging, right. him. We're dragging right. him along. Subscribe. He's here, look. Hey. Only 40 hours away. <laughs> nice one. Right, enjoy the video, guys. Thank you. Hi, right, guys. I'm off to North Wales uh, with Carl and Jay from Fishing Squad UK. We're going to be mackerel feathering tonight and maybe put some bigger baits out. So join me back at the mark in Wales. Sleep yet, started watching come down with me. Too buzzed not to get down there. Bring it on. Well, lads, gear's all packed, ready. Want to switch around. Bruise and go. Lovely day. Unfortunately, my two comrades, I'd love to go and show you them, but they're fast asleep, still in bed. It's quarter to five in the morning, there's fish to be caught, and all they want to do is sleep. <laughs> I just want to get down there and get some taupe. See you at the mark, boys. Alright, good morning, we're down. Um, 
Welcome to Fishing Squad. We've got um, Jay's brother John from Fishing Hunters Norton Wheels this morning. Bait bitch. Get them mackerel out, son. They're just spinning away. I've had 10 casts myself. Nothing yet. It's uh, about quarter past six in the morning. Um, Jay's spinning as well. I'll just let them have a go because we're a bit cramped short on room. Jay don't let me down usually. <laughs> DJ. It's all on you. Oh, you got that usually in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's a nice morning. I'm going to try and get some fresh mackerel out or pollock or whatever. And then we'll put some big baits on the bottom and we'll flap us out. I've got some fresh ragworm from D Side Tackle. Um, nice little shop, that. Well, a little shop, it's quite a sizey shop. Um, so, it's just all about covering water. I, I think it'll be tough at spells still for mackerel, even though we had a few out last week. They are here, though. We know they're here. They're getting them on boats. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how it goes with feathers. We might need to put flapper rigs on to get some fresh bait, Mike. We, you know, like pouting pork cod pollock. We should, we've got a chance of pouting and pork cod with ragworm. Um, so we'll just see how we get on. Like, um, give John's channel a, uh, a check out. It's Fishing Hunters North. I'll, I'll drop a link in the description for that. Um, Just give him give him a check out. It does it does, it does quite a bit of lure fishing for pike and perch and stuff, but his channel's just growing and stuff. It's his first time here since he had a YouTube channel, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. Come down onto the mark again, and I'm not being funny. It's, it's just a, it's just a. Well, I'll show you a mess basically. Make of that what you want. Is look fishing onto Norton. All right, John, have you had hopes up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you hoping to catch? Pollock, mackerel, <laughs> and then topon. Topon. It's nice to get away in it, pal. Yeah. Look, I've said give your channel a check out, like. And yeah, that. a little bit back here. Yeah. It looks a lot. Of, looks nice and well, Johnny boy. Don't know you, son, eh? <laughs> yeah. Why, <laughs> So we'll see how we get on. I'll probably do a bit on his channel in a bit. John will probably do a bit when he's caught some fish on that. Yeah, I want to get kicking on. Yeah, nice one, pal. I'm having, I'm having a few casts. We're ripping current to the right at the minute. We might need it just to change direction as daft as it sounds to catch something. I've had, had a spell of about 10 casts. I had a break. I'm just having another few now. We've got loads of time. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. We're not putting any baits out really for another... Oh, it's lucky on here. Another four or five hours. So, let's see if we can catch anything. Even some, uh, some pollock will do, you know what I mean? I still think there'll be a lull in the. <coughs> Excuse me, a lull in the mackerel catching. You know, they turned up early. Oh, I've got some on here actually. Nice little pollock. That'll do for some fresh bait at least. Close in that. I had to like wind quite slowly. So we're starting, that's the main thing. So we'll see how we get on. Get in. I take that back about that low with mackerel. I think if we get them this weekend, we'll hammer it all year. <laughs> nice one on drop at distance. You boys into a slightly better pollock than what I had. It's about, close in, yeah? yeah, we're really close in it, right under the ledge. Nice one, John. I'll come down just a bit so we can get a nice bit of footage for you. Literally, as he was bringing his feathers through water really close in, he got him. Off the map, boys. I'll get a picture of you with it, John, as well. Nice one, mate. Boys, well, got the stonking pollock. Nice one. Nice one. We'll get a nice picture with you with that, John. Get on. Get on. And, uh, Jay, what you got, Jay? Back there. Hey. Good one as well. Yeah, nice one. Right, he's just weighed it two pound dead. It's his PB pollock, that. Lovely PB fish. Pollock. Get on. Get some nice bait off that as well. <laughs> Good lad. Nice one, John. Get on. Nice one. Get in there, pal. Get on. Well done. He's had his pollock for species, and finally the fucking rings around him. And he's had his brother come down and completely annihilate him. <laughs> 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 
about my life these days. Yeah, get on. One for the species, one natural. Right, so we've had a steady stream now of pollock, and we've had three mackerel between us. So quite happy with that. Um, we've got plenty of bait. We'll just keep topping up some meat for tomorrow as well. I mean, what, what, what's your opinion, Jay, on pollock? Because bait, it's like, they're us like it, don't they? But we haven't had anything yeah, yeah. spectacular on it. It's like, it's better than buying frozen mackerel, probably. Um, I'd say it's fresh. Yeah, I reckon so. Um, frozen does work. Don't get me wrong, I'm not ruling it out, but... I think at this time of year, you're definitely best off. You're definitely best off um, persevering for fresh. Yeah, I'm just putting a flapper rig out with double ragworm on. Um, Tuck flapper, obviously. So you can catch, have a bit of sport, want grass or pouting or pork cod, pollock, whatever. Could do a topic bait it with a couple of pouting and pork cod, really. We'll see how we get on. Right, so we've cast that flapper rig out now. Um, double ragworm. Just going to give it a gentle lob. Um, nothing too. Not putting too much beef into it. Cast. It's going to go about forty yards. Steady away. And we'll see if we can catch something. Just let it sink to the bottom. A bit of line out, obviously, just let that lead hit the bottom fairly deep off this mark, and then uh, once you're in contact, just wind a bit of line and get in contact with your lead. Put it on red rest, have your rod fairly low so you, you make sure your rod tip fairly sensitive. Once you tighten your line up, it is anyway, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Hey guys, five minutes, what a fish that is! Beautiful, stunning cuckoo rest. Get on. Jay's in, he's got a, a ballon, a lovely coloured ballon, nice ballon that Jay, stunner, stunner, let's have a closer look, picking him up on ragworm now, nice, that's a lovely rass that mate, yeah so that they've, they've both put flaps on after I thought I could do rass, I've never seen two people get the feathers off as quick and put um, flappers on but, I did say I was it's very dividend, I've said they do a dividend, something Jay, Rest. You're funny, you're funny. <laughs> get on. Well, I've just had a female cuckoo rest now. I'll get her up, get her put back. Got his first ever cuckoo rest, I thought we were going to start crying. Love for species again. Yes, nice one. Just had another nice ballon rest. Nice sample of fish. Not enough to see his eye because it's covering it up. Yeah. <laughs> nice one, Jay. See why the love eating crustaceans and Shellfish. Worms have got a right set of nash on them. Any, anyone, that anyone that tells you need two 60 pound snoops though, we're talking crap. <laughs> <laughs> Black prana, aren't they? Yeah. Nice pollock, probably found enough. Not as big as John could, so I see. Could be a decent scrap on flapper rig on ragworm. Lovely fish, a bit of extra bait. Or we'll keep it for tea or something, whatever. Struggled for mackerel, so we need fresh bait for the next two days, basically. But when you're getting fish this stuff, it's superb. Get in. John's on. Finally on flapper. Oh, we've got, we got a swallow called a rash. It's a rash. We use length your rod. That's it. Nice one. Hey. Get on, Johnny boy. Yeah. Yes. Right. Nice one, pal. Struggling to keep up, guys, because there's bites everywhere. That that ain't a ballon either, John. What is it? Uh, oh, it is a ballon. Sorry, yeah. Maybe Thought it were corkwin. Nice one, mate. Don't forget to subscribe, fishing Ordinators Norton, on YouTube and Instagram. John's channel. That's John's channel. It's a two nice ballon rests today. Get on, John. Good lad. It's I on light. He's got an even bigger ballon now. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby ballon. Yeah, look again with another ballon. Get on it, Johnny. This, this bad boy's got teeth. Yeah, they've all got... Have you on? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, John's on. Got to pick up straight away. It might be a mackerel. It's a pollock. It's a nice pollock as well. Nice one, mate. Get on. Like the old pop-up beads, then. Woohoo! 
He's on again. Johnny boy. Go on, lad. Just be careful, because if it is something really big, you know, when you, has it come off? Slam. If it is something big, you get it on top. Don't just lift it up, because if it's, if, it's, if it's a really big one, you know what I mean? You might have got another one on, you know, as you've been bringing it through. Just round a bit quicker, because you're coming into the weeds. You have to go like mentally fast, but just a bit quicker. It's a kite in a bit, isn't it? Yeah. What we got, what we got, what we got, what we got. Oh, there's definitely a pull in there. Hey, look. Oh, it's a nice one, that. John. John. Yeah. That's bigger than your last one. Just be very no. careful. No, but it's bigger than his last one. Listen, listen, wait there. I'm going to go down and get it. It's absolute cracking pollock, this is, guys. Absolute. Absolute cracker. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't get any grip. It's absolute cracker. Look at the size of that. That is an absolute lunker. It's them pop up beads, isn't it, on, on uh, snoots? Right, just wait there. Right, it's £3.2. All right, well, you can have £2 for your bass then. Hey, right, nice pollock that, John. We'll keep that as well. Nice yeah, one. In there. I'm just tackling up for tote. We're going to put a dongle rig out. We have a mackerel on a 10 0 circle. Short snood of £120 wire. And a, th a three foot rig body. Short rig. So I'm going to cast quite far. Um, eight ounce. Homemade gripper. Well, homemade. As far as the gripping bit cons is concerned, I just need to bend them out. We'll get that fired out. See if we can pick something up better. It's a bit better. Yeah, so I'm going to put that out. We've kept a few pollock now because we need some pulse bait for tomorrow as well. Um, yeah, it's been a frantic session. I'm just constantly trying to record everything. I'm struggling like because everybody's getting bites all the time. We missed a couple of pollock, I think, somewhere down the line. Um, but it's been a terrific session so far. Um, we only had three mackerel, but we've just knocked it on head because we've got enough pollock. We've got enough fresh bait, basically. Um, I don't see the point in bringing frozen down, to be fair, at this time of year. I don't mind bringing a bit of frozen down in October when the water's gone murky. I, I've, I've had a uh, taupe on frozen at that time of year, mainly. Um, <coughs> so we'll see how we get on anyway. Um, it's been a fantastic session so far, to be fair. He just had a doggy. That's way that must free your life. I think Jay's into it. Let's go down here and. And mind your little bud, John. <laughs> Where are we here, Jay? You, you might have to, you've got to come up the side of me if it's down here. I've come over my rod. It's well up in water, your fish, Jay. Yeah. We're down here. J Meanwhile, John's getting a ball and rass. Jay, you're reeling. Right. It's, a, it's a dogfish, Jay. Yeah. It's a little sealed in your rig, though. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Bait's nearly up as big as it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it dropped off actually. <laughs> Just put it back. Yeah. Well, the sealed in it, rig. Off it goes. This one's a tame one. Super close to me, this. Hey. Right, we're just about to start packing up. It's gone dead. I haven't had anything on big baits at all. It's been very poor on the big baits. Had a doggy. Oh, you had a doggy early on, didn't you? Smallest doggy I've ever seen. Yeah. We're going to fish somewhere else, I think, tomorrow for some hulls, I think. See if we can get um, some big fish out, basically. 
Um, yeah, I have problems with lobster pots again. There's that one there. It's a complete twat base. I've only been stuck on it once today though, for a change. Um, other than that, we'll do it close down when we get back up. I think it's been absolutely scorcho in end. It's like a completely different day to this morning. I'm done, Chris, mate. I'm yeah. Risky. So I'm gonna get packed up. I'm gonna have a fire as well. I think before we go up, and get this rubbish burnt. So yeah. He's got another pollock, this is we're packing up. Nice one, pal. Alright guys, well, that's the end of that video. Great session. Um, some nice pollock there for John. Nice cooking rest for myself. Jay managed to get three species for the species hunt. Nice session, plenty of action, plenty of fish. Well happy. So uh, I'm just getting ready for the next video, or next session. We're going out to in some huts on a shallow mark today. Um, and some small species. So keep an eye out for the next video. Um, other than that, take it steady. Keep safe, tight lines. I'll see you very soon. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. If you just wouldn't mind dropping a sub on Fishing Hunters Norton and obviously my channel, Fishing Squad UK, it would be very much appreciated. Thanks once again. Have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one.